Hi my loves, you clicked on this video because you could use some more money and let me tell you, you are in great hands. What's up guys, my name is Savannah. I teach modern hippies how to live a more natural and healthy lifestyle through mindfulness and science. And yes, today we are talking about moolah. We're talking about money as energy, a lack versus abundance mindset, how to rewire the subconscious for abundance and how to manifest. And a little bit more before we dive in consider taking a hashtag self-care moment and signing up for my free masterclass for anxiety if you have anxiety you want to check it out sign up for free down below so money is just energy that's it it cannot be good it cannot be evil it just is can it be used for good can it be used for evil absolutely but it is not inherently evil if you've ever heard money is the root of all evil that quote actually has three words just completely chopped off the front end of it for no reason. The full quote is, the love of money is the root of all evil. Money is just an idea and it only has value because we all agree that it has value. So if you love money more than you love people, love the earth, love animals, that means you're in love with an idea over reality and that can quickly lead to the root of all evil. The people who are in love with money are not actually in love with the paper or the numbers in the bank account. They're in love with this idea and the fantasies of what this idea, money, can do for their life. So what does an abundance mindset and a lack mindset actually look like? And of course, if you want to manifest more money, you've got to be over here in the abundance side. I talked in last week's video about creating from love versus creating from fear, aka creating from spirit or creating from ego. And this is the same thing here. Creating from abundance is creating in the energy of love and creating from lack is creating in the energy of fear. If you start out thinking that something is going to go super well, that is an abundance mindset. If you already doubt yourself, already doubt that the thing you want can even happen, you're already creating from fear or from a lack mindset. There's many examples I can give you of creating from abundance versus lack, but this abundance mindset is just the energy of, I know that I will always be supplied for by the universe and provided for, and therefore I can act as if that is true because I know that that is true. I can donate money to the poor. I can be generous with the gifts that I give to my friends. The lack mindset is kind of like overly frugal. I can't do that because I'm broke. I can't have these things because I don't have money. I don't even personally say I'm broke or I don't have money ever, even, even if I am just because I don't want to create from that lack or fearful mindset. So how do we rewire our subconscious for abundance? The subconscious mind or shadow as we call it in the spiritual community is basically how your psyche is programmed and a lot of it comes from our childhood, which means that it's not inherently ours. A lot of it was thrust upon us when we were developing as children and therefore it is environmentally and societally and from family and religion, whatever you, environment you grew up in. And here's the thing, we create 95% of our reality with our subconscious mind. So it's really important to look at, it's really important to understand why you believe what you believe, what some limiting beliefs you might have are. And I'm gonna get to limiting beliefs in a second, but the best way to reprogram your subconscious to enter that abundance mindset, that loving spirit-led energy and create from that love, that love energy is positive affirmations. I've talked about positive affirmations on this channel a bunch before and here we go again. A positive affirmation is a sentence that you say that is both positive and in present tense that says something that you want to make true in your reality, even if it's currently not true. So for example, as it pertains to money, saying things like, rich is my vibe, money flows easily to me. The more money I have, the more people I can serve. The more money I have, the more generous I am. Money comes easily to me. And yeah, you're basically rewriting the code of the program that is your subconscious that's creating your entire reality. They're most effective when you write them, say them out loud, with feeling. You gotta put feeling into it. That's how you really make them work and change things up. And back to limiting beliefs. Ask yourself, what do I actually believe about money? What do the people who raised me and taught me in school, what did they say about money? What were their beliefs about money? And how is that affecting me today? And you might find that 
things are kind of negative. Personally, when I did this exercise prompted by a Tony Robbins YouTube video, I found that my father had taught me that money made him crazy. So that like took a deep root in my subconscious and I created from that subconsciously that, oh, if I have a lot of money, I'll be crazy, I'll be all over the place, I won't be able to keep my head on straight. And I created from that belief for years and years and years. And I didn't even know that I had that belief, so it's really important to look at what you actually believe about money. Do you feel like having a lot of money would be burdensome? Do you feel like it would bring you pain? Speaking of Tony Robbins, he always talks about how us as humans move away from pain and towards pleasure. So if you believe in your core, subconsciously even, that money is going to bring you pain instead of pleasure, you're always going to move away from it. Manifesting. Everybody always wants to know about manifesting because everybody always wants what they want, right? It's a layer deeper than that and let's get into it. So how do you manifest? You use the law of attraction. The law of attraction is actually the law of correspondence, which is one of the seven hermetic principles, which are metaphysical principles that govern our realm. Google seven hermetic principles if you want to learn more. It is truly fascinating stuff. I'm low-key obsessed. So the law of correspondence or the law of attraction says that you do not attract what you want. You attract what you are. So you can want to be the CEO of a company forever and ever and ever, but if you're not matching that vibrationally, if you're not becoming that, fake it till you make it, it's never gonna happen. Another important thing to note about manifesting is that you should always ask for this or better because we don't see the full picture, okay? The universe, God does. We might think we want something that's actually not great for us in the long run or there might be something better in store. So when you manifest, always ask for the thing you want or something better. So how do you become that vibrational match? How do you become like the thing you wanna manifest? Three easy steps, ready? Number one is you gotta ask. Pray, speak it aloud, think it, write it down, however it feels right for you to ask the universe, God, whatever you believe in. Ask for the thing you want or better. And then say thank you, because the universe is already responding. It's already responding to that energy that you are putting out. And now we wait. You've got to align your thoughts, feelings, actions, habits, people you hang out with, places you go, routines that you have. You have to align that to the thing that you want. And you have to act and feel as if you already have the thing. I like to write positive affirmations as an alignment to the thing that I'm trying to manifest. And I like to do it in past tense and then write about how it felt and then write about what I'm doing now. I'm writing down as if I already got the thing that I want, how it felt to get it, and how I feel today. So I'll write in my journal, like last week my business pulled in uh, $3,000 in profit. It felt so amazing to have that money in my bank account. I feel so excited for all the work that I'm gonna be doing in the future and that this money has enabled me to be. And today I'm here doing that work because of what happened last week. Does that make sense? This is a very, very powerful manifestation technique. Please do try it out. Next week I am talking about the spiritual awakening. You might be saying, Savannah, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the age of Aquarius, baby. If you've been wondering what the heck is going on on our planet right now, we're gonna get into it from a spiritual point of view, of course, and a more surface level, physical earth plane point of view as well. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more about how to live a more holistically healthy lifestyle, start by watching one of these two videos right here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a blissful day. Go forth and gain wealth.